Today we are going to find out if you will gain more FPS and lower input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3 by having this setting right here turned on or off. For some PCs out there guys, doesn't matter if you have a low end PC or a high end PC, having the setting multi threaded rendering turned on or off can actually cause hitching and lower FPS on your systems. So today I'm going to explain the best setting for your PC depending on what CPU you have and how many cores it's got. So guys if this video does help you out then feel free to help me out back by dropping a like on the video. Video, subscribing to the channel and using code life in the Fortnite item shop. Now though let's go ahead and get straight into it starting off with explaining what multi-threaded rendering actually is. So guys if you don't know already it's basically a renderer that allows multiple threads of the CPU to be used within a process with the goal of improving performance by letting these multiple threads help with that rendering work. So because of that right there and how it works guys depending on how many cores your CPU has which we will find out later in this video the amount of cores will depend on if you gain or lose performance by using this setting. The general rule of thumb that I suggest to everyone is that if you have more threads on your CPU than you do cores, then turn multi-threaded rendering on. However, if you have the same amount of threads as you do cores on your CPU, turn multi-threaded rendering off. Now you guys are probably wondering, how do I find out how many cores and threads my CPU has? Well, to do it, it's really simple. Just head over to your desktop, press Control alt delete This will then open up a menu screen which you can select the task manager right there at the bottom. In here, you want to head over to the performance tab at the top right there. And inside of the performance tab, you want to click on the CPU section on the left hand side. If it isn't already selected like mine is right here. Then if we look down here, guys, this will showcase all the information we need. You can see here that this displays how many cores your CPU has. And then you can see right here, this displays how many threads your CPU has. Now, don't get confused by this field marked as threads right here. This number actually shows the amount of program threads or codes that are running at the minute. It actually has nothing to do with the amount of threads on your CPU. So just in case you got confused about that, I thought I'd clarify. But going back to the important information, as you can see guys, my CPU right here has 4 cores in total, and it also has 8 threads in total, which means if I put back my general rule of thumb that I suggest to everyone, you can see that because I have 4 more threads than I do cores on my CPU, this means that I'll actually get more performance by turning the multi-threaded rendering setting in Fortnite on, rather than having it off. Which because of that right there, guys if you get the same result as me it's really important that you don't forget to also turn this setting on in your nvidia or amd control panel to do this just head over to your desktop right click on it and then select the control panel as you can see i'm obviously on nvidia so it's the nvidia control panel then inside of here under where it says the 3d settings on the left hand side choose manage 3d settings then scroll down to the bottom where it says threaded optimization and make sure to turn this setting on it's really important that if you actually use the multi threaded rendering setting inside of Fortnite but you also match it inside of here too. Same as if you actually turn it off you want to make sure that it's also matched in your control panel. Now that you guys have the correct setting both in your Fortnite as well as in your control panel you now should get more FPS and lower input delay inside of Fortnite Chapter 3. Be sure to try this out for yourselves guys and let me know which option of multi-threaded rendering that you're going to play on. Will you have it turned on or will you have it turned off? Leave whichever option in the comment section below. That's all I've got for this video today guys. If it did help out then be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video subscribing to the channel and using code life in the fortnite item shop i'll catch you guys in the next one thanks for watching peace